In episode 8 of Tales of Wedding Rings, tensions escalate as the oracle manipulates Moss, promising him acceptance from his father, the emperor, in exchange for fulfilling a mission and wielding an anti-magic sword. However, the sword's dark influence consumes Moss, driving him to attack Sato. Despite the threat, Sato refuses to retaliate, believing in their friendship and allowing himself to be injured to snap Moss out of his possession. As chaos unfolds, Sluder leads troops to defend against a monster attack, but one breaches the palace defenses. Alabaster confronts the monster while Moss, under the sword's influence, targets Sato. However, Sato's sacrifice breaks the sword's hold over Moss, who destroys the gem embedded in the sword, releasing its dark power. In a climactic showdown, the oracle reveals herself as an abyss knight and the mastermind behind the monster attacks. She takes Sephira hostage, prompting Sato and Moss to embark on a daring rescue mission. Their heroics reignite Sephira's affection for Moss, while Sephir, empowered by the water ring, transforms into a dragon to defeat the monster and force the oracle to flee. With the crisis averted, Saphir's father regains his health and sanity, paving the way for reconciliation and unity between Masa and Gisaris. He approves of Sato and Saphir's union and grants Mas and Saphira permission to marry. Meanwhile, the Emperor confronts the Oracle and swiftly dispatches her for her treachery, declaring his intent to eliminate any obstacle to his conquest, even the Abyss King and Ring King. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.